just to give you a short info, <coughs> what has happened during <coughs> during the night, you you probably have been a little bit aware of, uh, very predicted. So so far, it's following the, the weather forecast slightly earlier. It's a pretty heavy low pressure that's out at the Atlantic, uh, which moves <coughs> east. And that's the direction we're heading. Okay, the situation is as followed. We have a very rough weather situation. We are expecting 40 to 70 centimeters of snow in the next 24 hours. It's storm class one warning up there on the mountain. We have reports from guys up at Pelsa Stugan. The, the day has changed to first dog training. We will go up to the mountain for a two hour tour to see the rough weather, come back here, put up the tents, the stoves, do continuous training and plan B for tomorrow to continue on the track from another angle. We just uh, trained how to wear the harness and put the, uh, the leader one in the, in the first one there. And uh, it was really exciting, really, uh, when dog is really friendly and uh, he knows what to do and uh, he just wait when, when I wear the harness then and I'm not cold at all anymore before that I was and really exciting. Um, I just uh, gave a little test to put the chest uh, thing you know and uh, I, I did it good and I could it. that's what Tom's saying. It's going amazing. It's a bit cold, we got a bit of a storm coming our way, but other than that, it's a, it's a blast. An absolute dream. I, I got such a adrenaline kick from the, the really hard wind and like the complete whiteout. So you could almost not see the person in front of you. So it's just like, uh, yeah, you're really on a, like uh, on your toes, like really trying to not <laughs> fall over, not get the dogs to tangle. But the dogs were amazing, they knew exactly what to do, so. Yeah, we were uh, ordered to pitch our tents uh, to practice that for several times, at least two times. So we're just gonna uh, put it up, uh, make it uh, livable with all the uh, tent bags and uh, the ditch inside and so on. After that we tear it down and we start all over again just to get some routine with it. It's pretty difficult because there's all these strings you need to have really tightened and uh, it's difficult because the wind is changing and you need to put it in the direction of the wind and well if you put it like this and the wind is from there to here, and then it changes it. It's going to be really difficult to sleep in it. Already yesterday evening, we could see that the weather changes were pretty dramatical. And during the night, the wind speed has increased and uh, the snowfall is pretty heavy. Uh, down here, close to the coast, it's very wet conditions in addition to this and that makes the, the circumstances pretty hard. And what we also know is that leaving this place, uh, which can seem sheltered, uh, will be something completely different when we reach above the tree line and the open mountain areas. So that's why we made the decision already earlier uh, this morning to just go for a test trip because we wanted our participants to realize why do we change our original, uh, original plan into a plan B instead. <laughs> 